Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Gala Party. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to have you guys here today in my house. Here we're going to be practicing today Shivananda Yoga, which is a classical style of yoga. And uh, we'll begin always by tuning in to the present moment and allowing ourselves to tune out all the outside distractions. So let's bring ourselves into a nice comfortable seated position. Allow your seat bones to connect to the earth. Let the spine go long. Shoulders gently pulling back and down. Allow them to soften. Hands upon the knees into chin mudra. Let's index finger and thumb together. With the head center and the eyes gently closed. Let us begin by giving ourselves a moment here to take a couple of deep breaths on our own. And allow the oxygen, the prana to flow into the body, to the nose. And releasing all tension, all pressures, worries away from the body, to the nose. Give yourself a moment to feel this begin to take place. And allow your mind to settle down. And as our breath becomes nice and rhythmic, let us bring our hands together into prayer position in front of the heart. And as the thumbs touch the sternum, we tilt the chin towards the chest. And as we bring our hands together, we're creating that act of union. Feel at this moment how you're bringing body, mind, and spirit together to form one. And we begin our class with our opening mantra. Hail. Jananam Puddhikananda Sevatam Kapita Jambu Palasarabakshi Tam Uma Sutam Sopakanasha Karanam Namami Vignishwara Pada Pankajam May all my obstacles be removed from my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual path. May I achieve my goals to its fullest extent. By achieving my goals may not just benefit myself, but benefit those around me. Inhale. As you exhale, release. Place your hands upon the knees. Let the chin drop down to the chest. Inhale, lift the head up. Push the chin up towards the sky. Open up the neck. Exhale, down. Chin to chest. Inhale up and exhale down. Now rotate the head to the right side and go around the shoulders as you roll up. Inhale and as you roll down, exhale. Feel how you release some tension away from the neck and shoulders. And now rotate the head to the opposite direction, so gentle. Moving up, inhaling, moving down, exhaling. And allowing breath and movement to be created and brought together. You're going to bring your head back to the center. Rotate the shoulders to the front three times. One, two, and three. Back. One, two, and three. 
Very good. Extend the legs out in front, shake them off to release tension. Good. Begin to wiggle the toes for a moment. Let's get the blood flow to the lower extremities. Rotate the ankles to one direction. And now opposite direction. And shake. Very good. So now let's bring ourselves flat out to the mat. Now as we bring ourselves flat, we're going to bring our legs together and rest our arms comfortably by our side. We'll start with our single leg raise. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. And inhale, left leg up. And exhale down. Now inhale, lift the right leg up. Keep the right leg up. Wrap your arms around the back of the right leg. Exhale, forehead to knee. Around your back as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the leg a little closer to the head. See if you can walk your hands a little further up the leg. It's, or if you can reach the feet, grab a hold of the foot. Breathe in. And breathe out. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Five. Release the head back down to the ground. Bend the right knee to the chest. Wrap your arms around the right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Head to knee. Round your back as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale, head to ground. Now place the arms by your side. Lift the right leg straight up. Point the toes up. Inhale. And as you exhale, release. Shake it off. Opposite side, legs together, arms by your side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Wrap your arms around the back of the left leg. Exhale, forehead to knee. One, curl toes in, push heels out. Two, walk the hands further up the leg, half ankle or foot. Three. Four. One more. And five. Now as you exhale, release the head to the ground. Bend the left knee into the chest. Wrap the arms around the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Forehead to knee. Inhale, exhale, head to ground. Place the arms by your side, lift the left leg straight up, point the toes up, inhale, and as you exhale, release. Okay, check it out. Nice. Now bend the knees onto the chest, wrap your arms around the legs, and rock your body forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. And when you're ready, use the momentum to your advantage to bring yourself up. Very good. Now take your time. So as we now have got up all the way. So for those of you who haven't, we'll wait for you for just a moment. And there you go. Now you're up. So now walk yourself to the front end. Feet together. Arms by your side. Body nice and long. And we begin with some salutation or Surya Namaskar. So, we'll begin with our mountain pose. Anchoring the soles, lift your toes up off ground, inhale. As you exhale, spread your toes apart, release each toe to the ground. Once the big toe touches the earth, the spine grows long, head center, eyes closed. And as you close your eyes, give yourself a moment to feel your connection to the earth. Feel how energetic roots are emanating from your feet. You begin to anchor yourself down, root yourself in. Feel at this moment how you're creating foundation and stability. Allow now earth energy and your own to come together. Feel them flowing up the feet, up the shins. 
Cat Knee Dive Hit Back into the tailbone Feel the energy rising Up the abdomen Up the chest Inhale deep As you exhale Feel the energy flowing down the shoulders Down the arms and into the hands Point your fingers towards the earth Solid as the mountain Feel the energy flowing Up the neck Up the head Inhale deeply Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale. And as you exhale, release. As you release, allow the muscles to soften. And feel the energy and the strength emanating from within yourself. Let the eyes begin to open. And as the eyes begin to open, let the light filter in. Continue to open your eyes wider. Cast your gaze straight out in front. Sun salutation, Sri Namaskar. Inhale into mountain. Exhale into prayer. Hands in front of the heart. Inhale, bring your arms out, up and back. Arms. Exhale, standing forward. Bend, hands to the ground. Bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, step right leg back, right knee to the ground, gently look up. Retaining breath, step left leg back, do high push up, high plank. Exhale, release knees, chest, and chin to core. Inhale, slide for a gentle cobra, lower belly on ground, toes point back, heart open. Now curl your toes under, exhale, inverted V. Hips are up, heels to ground. Now drop the left knee to the ground and step right foot forward, right between the hands. Now falls back a little bit. We take the right hand and carry the right foot forward. Hands on the ground, hips drop, pipe open. Now stay up to your exhale, step left foot next to the right, foot forward bend. Inhale, bring your hands together, up all the way up. Arch back, look back, and exhale, hands down the center, and to side. Very good. Inhale into mountain. Exhale into prayer. Inhale, arms out of the back, arch. Exhale, standing forward, bend, hands to the ground, bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, step left leg back, left knee to ground, look up. Retaining breath, step right leg back, do a high push up, high plank. Exhale, release knees, chest, and chin to floor. Inhale, slide for cobra. Now curl your toes under, exhale, inverted V. Hips are up, heels to ground. Now drop right knee to the ground and step the left foot right in between the hands. Drop the hip, open chest, look up. Exhale, step right foot next to the left, pull your forward bend. Inhale, bring the hands together, come all the way back up, arch back or back. And exhale, hands down the center, and to side. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms out of the back. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, right leg back, right knee to the ground, look up. Retaining breath, left leg back, high push up. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to floor. Inhale, slide for cobra. Now curl your toes under, exhale, inverted V. Drop left knee to the ground, inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, bring both hands together, arch back with that. Exhale, hands down the center, head to side. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms out from back. Exhale, standing forward bend. Hands to the ground, bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, step left leg back, 
Left knee to ground, look up. Retain your breath, right leg back, high push up. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to floor. Inhale, slide for cobra. Now curl toes under, exhale, inverted V. Drop your right knee down, inhale, step left foot forward. Exhale, step right foot forward. Inhale, bring both hands together, come all the way up, arch back and back. Exhale, down to center and to side. Hold here, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now take a deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, release, shake it off. Very good. Now once we're done with some sensitization, let's walk ourselves halfway back into the mat. Release the knees to the earth. Bring the buttocks to the heels. So, bring ourselves to our first asana of the day, which is our head step practice, or shirshasana. So as you bring yourself onto your hands and knees, and then release your buttocks to your heels. Soften your shoulders. Relax the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release yourself right in between the head, between the legs. Now give yourself a moment here. Take three deep breaths. And as we begin to concentrate, begin to visualize yourself into your headstand first. So by creating that mental picture, you're allowing your mental image to become a reality. And since you're at home, if you have a wall next to you or, or very close to you, you can do this against the wall so that way you're able to bring yourself into your pose. So, once you have done your three deep breaths, as you inhale, bring yourself up onto your knees and buttocks to your heels. Now, extend the arms out in front. Interlock the elbows and place the elbows onto the ground close to the knee. Keep the elbows stationary, interlace the fingers and create a tripod. So if you were to look down, your tripod must look such as this. Fingers interlace and palms open. This is your foundation. This is what's going to keep you on the ground stable. Once you've done that, you take the crown of the head, the very top part of the head, and you place it in between your uh, tripod with the back of the head against the interlaced finger. Once you're there, you curl your toes under, inhale, lift the hips up to straighten out the leg, and walk the feet closer to the head. Now bend the knee, and then elevate the knee straight up, and then extend the leg. Once you're there, hold yourself for five deep or ten deep breaths. Remember, you're bringing all the blood flow back to the brain. Give yourself two more. One more. And now to come down, you bend the knees, bring them to the body, and then drop the feet down. Once the body is down, you bring your body to your heels, separate the knees, and you sink right in between the legs. So the arms will extend, and then you soften, relax in here. Place your arms by your side now. Soften the shoulders. And now slowly bring yourself up. And bring the knees together. Now once you bring yourself up, make sure you bring yourself up slowly. Hold the hero's pose or the uh, a warrior position here for a moment. Just relax and let the blood flow back to the head, or back to the body. 
breathe in. Let's breathe out. Very good. Kata posture for Shirshasana is our shoulder stair or Salamba Saravangasana, supported shoulder stair. So if you release your body to the left, you extend the legs out in front, and you bring yourself further down the mat. Releasing the body flat onto the ground. On this one, for those of you who have a very sensitive shoulder or lower back, you'll place the blanket right along the side of your shoulder. So the line of the blanket will go against the, the, neck, the back of the neck. This will help you, especially for those of you who want, uh, have an uneven ground, to support yourself. So, you lay flat, legs together, and then as you inhale, lift the hips, place the hands onto your back, and walk your hands up the spine. Extend the leg, and relax the toes. So this is our shoulder stand. And our shoulder stand allows us to bring the blood flow back to the head or back to the neck. And it helps us with the thyroid, our parathyroid, our endocrine gland, and our adrenals. Allowing our blood to flow down the legs freely. So you can relax the toes. Close your eyes. Let your breaths be deep. Let your exhalations be complete. Five more. back of the head onto the ground for our halasana plow. Interlace the fingers and place your fist onto the ground. Now for those of you who may have difficulties, if your toes do not come down to the ground, keep your hands onto your back, but bend the knees onto the forehead. Hold here for five deep breaths. Send your hands out to the back, lift the legs halfway up, and then slowly roll yourself back to the ground, vertebra by vertebra. Slow and gentle. Once your back is flat, give yourself a moment, relax it, and then continue on your journey down, nice and slow. We don't want to plummet to the earth, but I have total control of our physical body. And once the body's flat, separate the legs slightly apart, arms apart, and relax here for a moment. Take three deep breaths. Once you're done your three deep breaths, then you'll gently bend the knees from the soles of the feet to the ground. Separate the feet, inner hip length apart. Take the arms, place them along the side of the body. Set the bandhasana 
gentle bridge. So as you inhale, press onto the feet, lift the hips up, and then interlace the fingers behind the back. Oh, this is to counteract our halasana, our plow pose. Five deep breaths here. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now place the hands up the mat. Lift the heels up. Lift the hips a little higher. And then slowly begin to roll your body back down to the ground. Vertebra by vertebra. Slow and jump. Once the back is flat, you'll bend the knees onto the chest, place your hips upon your knees, and in a circular motion, massage the base of the spine onto the ground. Three times to one direction. Two. And three. Now opposite direction. One. Two. And three. Now rock your body forwards and back. And bring yourself into a seated position. Very good. Now, you're going to take the blanket that you have behind you on this one. And we're going to do a nice little restorative fish. So you're going to roll it up. And last time we did a fajita, this time we do a nice little taco. So now you'll place that behind you. You'll bring that all the way to the base. And then you release yourself right onto it. It should be right in the center of your back. With the feet now together and the knees separated, you relax. Arms extended by the side, and then you tilt the head back. And this is our restorative fish or matsyasi. Close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. Five, allowing our chest carry to expand, bringing fresh oxygen to our lungs, allowing to help us our thyroid, parathyroid. At this moment, we're working with our metabolism and we're working with our immune system. It is said that a happy heart is a healthy heart. So if you do this every day, you're boosting up your immune system. Two more. One more. Very good. Now take the hands, place them along the side of the knees, and bring the knees together ever so gently. Take the hands, place them on top of the knees, lift the head, and slowly bring yourself up. Very good. Put the back in front of me. <laughs> My neighbors. Alright. So now, extend the legs, shake them off to release tension. Very good. Now we're going to bring ourselves around about onto our bellies. You'll take the hands, place them right, one hand on top of the other, and then big toes touch as uh, ankles drop to the side and tilt your head to the right and relax here for three deep breaths from beneath you sit atop the seat going into our sitabandha and to our uh, our staff pose gandhasana you take the hands put them along the side of the hips legs together curl toes in to push heels out as you inhale press onto the hands Lengthen the spine, open the heart, look forward. As you exhale, put the chin to the chest and hold. One. What we're doing here is releasing tension away from the spinal column, allowing the, the cervical column to relax. Two. Three. Four. One more. 
and five. Now inhale, lift the head up, look to the horizon. As you exhale, soften your shoulders. Pachimottanasana, seated forward bend. So as you inhale, extend the arms out to the side and up, as though you reach into the sky. As you exhale, bending at the waist, bring your chest forward and down. Now in this one, since we're doing a hatha form of the yoga, we can place the hands wherever they may land. So if they land onto your shins, that's okay. If they land over the feet, that's perfectly fine. Just find the one that you're comfortable in. Once you're here in this position, take another deep breath. Let your heart pull you forward and up, open up. And then as you exhale, slowly continue your journey down. Good. Now for those of you who may have a little bit of a situation, that will go all the way down, you will take that rolled up taco that you had, remember? You will place it right in your abdomen area. You will take your strap, if you have one, and you bring it over your foot. And then you fold gently. Give yourself here five deep breaths. Very good. As you inhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, look up. As you exhale, release. Very good. You'll take the mat, put it off to the side, take your back. Take the hand spacing behind your center, eight inches behind the back. Actually, in today's routine, we're going to go into an inclined plane, so we're going to bring the hands a little further back. So, point the toes forward, hands 10 to 9 inches behind the back. Inhale, press onto the feet, lift the hips, lift the chest, exhale, tilt the head back. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. And then exhale. Five. Release. Come down. Very good. Rotate the wrists, wiggle the fingers, and shake. Very nice. Now, bring ourselves onto a squatted pose. We're going to push the legs back, feet planted firmly on the ground, hands into prayer in front of the heart. As the buttocks drop, the spine grows long. Head center, eyes closed. Let's give ourselves a moment here just to soften the hips. Let's bring ourselves into our Prakasana, our Crow Pose position. Two more. One. Very good. Open the eyes. Spread the fingers apart and extend the arms out in front. Now tilt the hands slightly in, so this would be a nice little support. Place the hands onto the mat. And then bring yourself to the balls of the feet so that way you lift your knees onto the triceps. You lift one foot up off ground and then the other. And hold. One more. And then release. Good. Rotate the wrists, wiggle the fingers, and shake. There you go, you guys. Now take the hands, place them onto the mat, lift the hips up, separate the feet apart, and then release the body. Upper body softens, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Breathe in, and breathe out. Now slowly begin to roll yourself back up to a standing position, slow and gentle. Once the body is nice and long, walk the feet together to the front. Good. Then walk yourself to the front of your mat. 
Right, so now we begin with our balancing. We start with our tree pose. So shifting your body weight to the left side. Take right foot and guide it to left inner thigh. Left calf or left heel. All depends on you. Okay, give yourself a test. Sometimes the balance is a little hard to find. So look at a spot directly out in front. Once you have found the spot, take the hands, bring it to prayer in front of the heart. <clears throat> Inhale, lift the arms overhead. And as you exhale, extend the arms out, hands to the chin mudra, and hold. One. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Breathe in. And breathe out. Five. Inhale. Bring the hands to prayer in front of the heart. As you exhale, release. Very good, you guys. Shake it off. Now, walk yourself back. Anchor the right foot to the ground. And then guide left foot to right inner thigh, right calf, or right heel. All depends on you. Once you're there, cast your gaze straight out in front, find a spot that you're able to hold. And then bring your hands to the prayer in front of the heart. And once you're there, inhale, lift arms overhead. As you exhale, extend them out, chin mudra, and hold. One. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Breathe in. And breathe out. Five. Inhale, bring the hands back to center. As you exhale, release. Good. Shake it up. Good. Now walk yourself to the front edge of the mat. Bring your feet together, arms by your side. Our triangle pose, last posture for the day. Good. Inhale, step the left foot up, go back. And then extend them out. Hands on to the hips. And then let's pivot the right foot to the back of the room. Pivot the left foot to a 45. Inhale, extend the arms out, shoulder level height. As you exhale, and hinging at the right hip, right hand to right shin. Inhale, left hand up. And as you exhale, left arm over the left ear. Hold. One. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Five. Inhale. Bring yourself up. As you exhale, both hands onto hips and pivot the feet now to the back of the room. Room. We're in the outdoors. <laughs> All right, so now, hands on to hips. Inhale, extend the arms out, shoulder level height. Exhale, and hinging at the left hip, left hand to left shin. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, from right arm over the right ear, and hold. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Press on the feet. Come all the way back up. As you exhale, hands onto hips and pivot the feet to the parallel to one another. Now let's draw or let's pinch your toe to the feet and push the heels out. That'll be our last posture for the day. All right. Uh, our Parasarita Padmo Tanasana, or wide angle extension. 
So inhale, lift the hips, uh, lift the chest, lift the head, look up. As you exhale, come forward and down. Take the hands, place them onto the mat. Fingertips align with the toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the elbows in between the legs and let the head drop. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four. One more. And five. Inhale. Lift the head. Lift the shoulders. Lift the chest. And as you exhale, hands onto hips. Gently fold. Inhale. Lift the head. Lift the shoulders. Lift the chest. Come all the way up. Arch back. Look up. And as you exhale, head back to the center. Inhale, extend the arms out, show level height. As you exhale, step to the front and close. Very good. Now walk yourself to the front edge, feet together. Take the hands, place them into prayer position in front of the heart. Tilt the chin to the chest. And let us give thanks here for a moment to the five different teachers in our lives. Starting with our Brahmas. These are the first teachers in life. They're considered to be our parents. The people that gave us this physical form or raise us. Let us give thanks to the Vishnus in our lives. These are our preserver teachers. These are the people that come into our lives to give us support and strength when our time of need. They're considered to be our brothers and sisters, our friends, our neighbors, the people that are there in our toughest times. Let us give thanks to the Satyas in our lives. These are our educator teachers. These are the people that bring wisdom and knowledge into our lives. Let us give thanks to the, to the Shivas in our lives. These are the people that give us a hard time in life. These are considered to be our enemies. These are the people that teach us patience and understanding. And finally, let us give thanks to the Brahmas, which are the bees that are not of this plane of existence. They are considered to be our guardians, our angels, or our ancestors. And they are there to guide us to do the right thing in life. And finally, let us give thanks to ourselves for being here today, for doing something that is not only beneficial for the body, but essential for the mind, and the spirit. Very good. Take a deep breath. Inhale. As you exhale, release. Very good. Separate the feet apart. Extend the arms out in front. Bend the knees. And then release the body flat onto the ground. Preparing ourselves for Shavasana. Corp pose. Final relaxation. If you have your towel, if you have your blankie, take the blankie, roll it up into a nice little long ball. Place it underneath your knees. Separate the legs apart. Then you release the body flat to the ground. Extend the arms out. Palms facing towards the sky. As a gesture of surrender. Gently close your eyes as we will bring you into a nice guided relaxation. Listen to the sound of my voice and let your body do a corner. I feel a wave relaxation flowing from the top of the head all the way up and down to the tip of the toe. I relax my mind, my body. I let go of all tension. 
I release any clenchiness within and around the body as a sense of liberation begins to take place in my heart. I relax my mind, my body. I relax my mind, my body. My mind and my body are totally and completely relaxed. Relax. 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 Begin to feel the body coming back. Feel the energy, feel the blood flowing down the legs, down the arms, into the hands, into the feet. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Take your hands and place them up above your head. Give your body a full stretch. Bend the knees onto the chest, wrap your arms around the legs, and rock your body from side to side, allowing the sides of the back to massage the ground, bend the ground, massage the back. And now rock your body forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back, and bring yourself up to a nice, comfortable seated position. Once you have found your position, hands to the prayer in front of the heart, to the chin to the chest. You give yourself a moment here to feel a sense of internal tranquility. Allow happiness and joy to flourish in the heart and in the mind. And let this powerful energy emanate outwardly and let it touch the hearts of those around you. Let us give ourselves a moment here to give also healing energy out there for anyone who needs it at this moment, which is most of us. Allow happiness and love to flourish and to wrap those beloved people in your heart to bring them good health back to their bodies. Inhale. Oh.
Shanti 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 Peace 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 The Divine Blessed Being in me salutes the Divine Blessed Being in you Namaste Namaste, 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 namaste. Oh, mom, peace, peace, peace. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me into your home. And I hope you had a wonderful time. And as, uh, as I sign off, remember to watch me here and to just slide to Olympia and see what, what all the good things are going on in our class schedule. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Namaste. <laughs>